Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. And do you have a problem with your computer tower coming on but not supplying any kind of video to your monitor? But your monitor works great and you know it does. I've got two things you need to try to figure out if this was the problem or not because one of these two were my problem and I'll explain to you what I did to fix that. But first, um, unplug the power supply from the back of the computer after you've shut it down or the computer's off and plug that. Hold the power switch down until it drains out all the stored power from it uh, and then plug it everything back up again and turn it on. Sometimes that, that works. That's the simplest approach to trying to fix a tower that comes on, it looks like it's coming running normal and for whatever reason it's not sending any image to your monitor. Sometimes that works. The other option is you've done what I do or, or you've did what I did yeah, that's right. Uh, and what I used to do was I'm paranoid about leaving things turned on when I'm not around and things like that. So oftentimes I find myself turning the computer off, shutting it down. I wait, you know, a few seconds, what seems like five or ten seconds, probably not. And then I switch the um, search protector off. Well, I did the anniversary update, the Windows anniversary update. And this was, um, so you got a reference when this was. This was November um, of 2016. So I did the anniversary update. It took it a while for it to, to click and to check. I had to like do it three times for it finally. My computer accepted it or whatever. Well, then I went to turn it on one time and it just wasn't showing anything up on the screen. What you gotta do to fix this is lay it down, take your cover off your uh, tower, take your video card out. Uh, if you've got one or two, take those out to get to your motherboard. On your motherboard, there's a button battery. It's a little round silver battery. You want to have your computer off and unplugged. Uh, pop that battery out and then press and hold down the battery supply to drain out any leftover power that's in there. Put the button battery back, put everything back together and turn it back on again. That's going to reset your BIOS uh, because what I was doing is like a hibernate, hibernate stage, I guess, that your uh, tower goes into. I'm probably butchering all this stuff because my friend Chris fixed this for me and he kind of told me what, what it was and how much of an idiot I was for shutting the surge protector off the power, sole power to the tower too early or at all. He's like, just leave it on, it's best to do that. So the BIOS, it was trying to hibernate itself down. Here I am killing the power, it disrupts that, so I have to reset the BIOS by taking that button battery out, put that back in. Boom, turned everything back on again, it fired up just fine, it's been acting normal. But I did have to go in and update my BIOS, which I have an HP tower, a mid-size one and it kind of recognized that and updated itself whenever I had that in there so and then voila it's fixed so that was my problem I thought I was going to go down an avenue of like I couldn't find anything much about it online through searches and stuff like that but that was a really that's a really simple fix it sounds hard to do but really it's really not that hard to do at all you take that cover off take a screw out um, shift and pull out but you got to push a little lever to, to release your graphics card after that, it should expose your motherboard with that button silver battery. It's just a button battery. Look up what a button battery looks like, like a CR, whatever battery. Pop that thing out, but like I said, have it unplugged. Go ahead and drain your power out after you plug. After you pop that battery out, drain it, pop it back in, plug everything back up, your power supply included. Uh, hit start. After you put your graphics card and everything back in, it should purr like a kitten and work just fine. If not, it's something a little more serious than that. It's going to cost you some money. If this was helpful to you, hit thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you're able to fix it and what you did to fix yours. And also, uh, click my little logo thing you hear on the screen and subscribe to the channel and check out some other videos and stuff like that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you get your PC up and going. See ya!